Hey, what is up everybody? It is No One Shall come back to you with another Star Trek Fleet in my video. Today we're going to talk about officer sourcing and the biggest pain of the game, like what it needs to change and what it should be versus what it is now. And it's quite a headache now in the game. And it's just one of those ones that kind of make you scratch your head and is like, come on, bro. Like this should have been thought a while ago and it shouldn't be as clustery as it is now. I've talked about this many live streams and many videos I've done, but I want to do a dedicated video just for this. So on officer sourcing, what needs to change? But before we get into the video, remember to like that subscribe button, that bell notification down below. Remember below that in the see more button, come join that discord. And below that is a donation. If you want to donate, it is that tiny URL. And under that, if you want to support the channel for either two, five, 10 or 20 bucks a month, hit that join button, become a member and just help the channel out. It just helps me out greatly. Remember, this is probably my main source of income. So if you want to help out, it is down below. So let's get into the video. Let's talk about actually officer sourcing. And this is a perfect time because they kind of have the um, the bone or skeleton bone works, whatever you want to call it, the backbone of it already there. They just need to implement it on a normal way of actually doing this because it's insane of like, we have so many officers now and the pools becomes quite diluted. As we could show here, we go to the officers recruit and so let's not look at this currently right now. Let's go take a look at our Alter Recruit Pack. That's the one that we normally see and we normally get besides the Disco because that's kind of been there now, which is kind of cool. And if you look at our Officer Pack, we have all the new officers like Yuri Smud, 10, 5, 6, uh, uh, Row, Ox, just so many of these new officers that are in these packs that it doesn't make sense why they're in this pack. They separate them, segregate them. They try to do their best. Like some of the officers, and for higher levels, like as you see here, Lorca five and ten to ten and Curon are in forty plus G four packs. Why? Why aren't we having our officer sourcing in our officer tab? Why can't we have separate officers instead of just this one pack that's full of randos, just a grab bag of officers, which it dilutes the it dilutes all your officers. All the ones you can constantly get. If you're starting the game and you're like, dude, I want to max Kirk out. Dude, I want max Spock or I want uh, I want Pike. I want Nero. I don't know if anybody wants Nero, but I want Nero or Charvenic or whatever. They need to dilute these packs down. They need to start segregating them on when they came out. So, for example, like we have these two packs right here. This is a perfect example. So we have our TNG. Recruit chest, limited time. See here, it's just limited time. And you can get the TOS officers and some ATAs, which is cool away team assignments. But this needs to be a permanent addition to the game to where you have TNG officers. You can get use ultra recruits for them. You have mining officers, say, you can use ultra recruits for them. You have Disco. You can say the same, but ultra recruits for them. But we need more segregation officers. We need so many more. They're all kind of diluted. We need ultra recruit versions of it, rare versions of it, because we have so many new officers in the game. It's not even funny now. Don't even ask me the number of officers we have in the game anymore. It's just they need to figure out a way to segregate officers in a way that actually makes it easier for players to actually get officers. So if they would actually think about it and take a second to implement it the right way instead of where we're at right now of limited time events, and special tokens, AKA disco recruit tokens or whatever. Cause we already have our base. We have our ultra troop tokens, which they call gotchas in the system. And these gotchas are already based in the game. So why do we need to add more to that? Why do we need to expand upon? Why do we need to add more tokens, more currencies that we don't need in the game? Why not just simplify it and give us options of like TNG, Disco, um, just random stuff. Because we have, and then we have this right here. These are always great packs, but they haven't expanded upon them today. A lot of the players, a fair amount of players, not all I'm going to say, a good amount of players have all these officers unlocked and done with. Why not do a, once you hit that unlock point, why not do a version two that includes like Alex and just random officers? Why not? And then we have this addition to the game we got a year or two ago, which are transporter shards which are handy but they haven't really improved on it like the officers they only add is six and what else do they add uh mud your and hairy mud again fat mud and skinny mud they added those in there but those weren't 
ones that people actually wanted. Yeah, MUDs are good for ATAs when you get their stats up there and get them up there, but you still run into that wall of independent credits. You run into that. Or if you want to get 6 to 10 leveled up for whatever you want to do them as, you run into the nano or uh, nano pro problem. It's just you run into these walls of the game require independence and nano probes. This is why I'm suggesting them to start adding more stuff. A Borg pack, a TNG pack, a mining pack, Kelvin error packs, just packs on packs on packs of uh, just choices. And if this, this UI gets too cluttered, let's do it like the vent tab. Let's add something in. Like when in our vent tab, we have stuff that already segregated. We have these little tabs. Why not do folders in there called uh, officer recruits? Then you specify all these ones in one folder and all your uh, transport shards in one folder. So you can have a choice of looking through officers, looking through what you want to get and choosing A from the transport shards or B using your ultra recruits to actually get the officers that you actually want. Instead of how it is where you're diluting the pool down to just a finite amount of officers you can get or a big list of officers you can get and you're getting limited amounts of those officers so you can't get those crucial officers like Kirk, Spock or Kang or Alex or Charvenik or those crucial officers in the game actually leveled up to be somewhat sustainable through your 20s to 40s because some a lot of people that go between that range have just a grab bag of officers that aren't maxed out or that aren't sustainable use because they're not taking advantage of the full officer's power let us be able to choose our officers and choose what we want to do when we want to do it instead of running these limited time events that you only have a choice of two for a month and then it's gone and then maybe it'll come back and then it's gone and then maybe it'll come back it just it just doesn't make sense to me anymore we have i want to say 100 officers but i could be wrong i don't know if um stfc.space actually has a list of how many officers that are actually in the game let me do a quick list see if there's well there's what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and there are five pages at let's just 19 officers i probably could be wrong at five pages we have almost 100 officers in the game why not just simplify it so the masses are able to choose what they want when they want and how they want it it's not a hard concept scopely i know that you guys don't want to bring new officers out just right away because people you guys want to earn what you want to earn through it but bring old officers into it to bring other ones like disco and borg and uh what is exchange officers or whatever let's let's find out the packs and let's work through it to make it actually usable in game for the players to actually get the officers they want instead of officers they don't need i know i rambled on in this video for a bit it's been a while it's been a while me making a video sorry but i'm here now all right guys remember to like that subscribe button that bell notification down below right below that is a disc or a, uh see more button hit that see more button Come, come, come join the Discord. Below that is going to be a donation if you want to donate. And below that is going to be a join button. your two, five, ten, or 20 bucks a month and become a member. Thank you very much. It is no one shall sign out. Peace out. Hopefully see you soon.